Good morning, e-tutors. This is just a small video clip to show you what we are expecting of you from your e-tutor site. So there are a couple of things you can do on your e-tutor site. First of all, you have a welcome message. Now, we really want you to change the welcome message from the currently generic UNISA moderated welcome message. Something a little lighter, more fun, something that kind of motivates the students to, to study. So keep it light and fun. Secondly, additional resources. We really want you to only stick to the stuff that we give you. We're going to give you a quiz um, on a first day evening um, during the day. And we want you to post that quiz on the Friday before 12. And please be consistent on when you're posting it. To give the students a kind of a rhythm, a routine in when stuff is happening. Secondly, you have announcements. This is great to let students know what's going on. Now, there's a cool function on the announcements that you can post an announcement and send it out via email to the student. You only have to go to high priority and you will see it will send out an email notification. So please do that by reminding the students that you just posted the quiz, um, reminding them to work diligently and just motivating them throughout. Then most important is the discussions. Now, the discussion is 90% of your job as each tutor. And we want you to take it on as follows. Divide your discussion forum into different study units. The reason for this is that students know where to go when they have a specific question. We don't want them to go through all the previous discussions to get a discussion on a specific topic. We really want them to be able to quickly go through a specific topic. So name your forum, study unit one, two, three, up until the last study unit of your module. Within the first study unit, name it general discussion, quiz question one, quiz question two, quiz question three, up until the last question. Then the students know, I really had trouble with question three on study unit one. So I go correct directly to the discussion on that question. This keeps it easy and simple for the students. Also, we are going to give you a memo on the quiz, but please do not release this memo to the students. That's the last thing we want. We don't want them to have the correct answers and just use it to see what the correct answers are. We want them to take part in the discussion because we believe that's where learning takes place. So you, you may give them the correct answer within the discussion. Start off, say, hi guys, the correct um, answer to this question was two or three or whatever. That's fine, but don't post the memo on your site. Thank you.